Okay, so we are going to go over last night's homework. Your first problems were on page 174. 174, numbers 7, 8, and 9. Okay, who can give me the number sentence they came up with for number 7? So this is page 174. 174. Maybe. There we go. Number sentence. Parker? Ninety divided by five equals eighteen. Okay, raise your hand if you disagree. Okay, Kendall, label the parts for me. Uh, Ninety is the total. Okay, and in this case, it was the total what? Uh, pages. Total what? Pages. Okay, what was five? The number, the number of groups. Was it? What were they dividing it into? chapters or like days what were they doing dividing it into chapters okay yeah so dividing it into five chapters so 18 is the amount in each group or some people say like the size of the group that would be saying the exact same thing the size of the group or the amount in each group who can give me a good answer sentence for that one, Brady? There is a total of 18 figures in each group. Okay. There are 18 pages in each what? Chapter. Chapter. Okay. Questions on that one? Okay, number eight. Uh, number sentence. Finley, what'd you get? 59 divided by 5 equals 17. The remainder is 4. Okay, what was, say it again. Sorry, I wasn't ready. 59 divided by 5 equals 17, remainder 4. Equals 17, remainder 4. Okay, mm -hmm. who can label the parts for me? Okay, guys, if you disagree, we don't go, huh, huh, hmm, hmm. What do you think an appropriate thing would be to do? There we go. Okay, let's be better about that because I'm pretty sure you guys all mess up from time to time. And actually, that is correct. Except, wait. Now, raise your hand if you had this. And if you asked, I just kind of went with, I said, whatever you think, however you interpret it. What did you get to that answer or to that problem, Brady? Who got an answer to 89 divided by 4, Reese? 22 remainder 1. 22 remainder 1. Now, if I write one of these problems, I am very, very specific. Why do you think I'm very specific? What was hard to interpret on this one? Brady? Yeah, but does it say and himself or herself? I think it was a she in this one. No. no, it's not very specific. So on this particular problem for today, I will count either of those correct. Okay, but let's talk about why it's actually that one on this problem and see if we can change it to make it that problem. Okay, and again, if you asked me about this one, if you said I think it's five, I'm like, mm-hmm. If you said I think it's four, I'm like, mm-hmm. Why? Yes, I want you to think for yourself, use your brain, and then be able to justify your answer. Tell me why you think that. Because in this one, depending on how you interpret the problem, it could be either. So let me read the problem carefully. Well, first let's label the parts, because regardless of which problem we chose, we would label the parts correctly. What does this represent? The total what? Total number of fruit snacks. Okay, and the four and five would represent the number of groups, because we're splitting it into four equal parts, or five, number of groups. And this would be the amount in each group. 
Okay, so I'm gonna read carefully. Caitlin divides a bag of fruit snacks with four friends. She divides the 89 snacks equally. How many fruit snacks does each person receive? How many will be left over? So since she's dividing them with four friends, think about yourself. If you have a bunch of fruit snacks, are you just gonna go one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. Raise your hand if you're that kind. You could, but raise your hand if you would. No, okay? So it's just because it said with four friends. If I were writing this problem, if there was a problem like this on the test, I would add in a couple words. What words do you think I would add in? Sadie? With four friends and her child. Yes, she was sharing with four friends, or among, she is sharing among herself and four friends, to where you know she's included. These ones are tricky, but again, if I write the problems, I try to make it obvious. Is she just giving them to her friends or is she sharing them with herself and her four friends, okay? So that's why on this one, because again, I don't like the way it's worded, um, I would accept either of those. Again, when I write them on quizzes or tests, I make it more obvious. But always think about if someone's sharing something, that's where they get you sometimes, is it's not always the number listed, if they're, if they're sharing it among themselves and other people, you always have to add one to that divisor. Okay, who can give me an answer sentence here? For, we'll do the top one and I'll fill in numbers for the second one as I write. Answer sentence, Lori? Okay, for the, the top one. Yep, for the top one. Each person will receive, is it 17? Yep. 17 fruit snacks. Receive. 17 fruit snacks. In parentheses, I'm going to put 22. Why do you think I'm going to put a 22 under that 17? If you did the other one, okay. Okay, we're not quite done. Lori, can you add to that to finish it? There will be four fruit snacks left over. Okay, and there will be four left over and under that I'm going to put in parentheses one okay questions on that one does that make sense why it could be either really okay number nine number sentence max what'd you get Hold on, was it 79 or was it 72? You might have made the problem harder. Does your guys' book say 75? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my book says 72. That's weird. Number nine on page 174? Huh, okay. Your book says 72? Well, I don't remember the one number, because I forgot the number. I said 75. And it might be a, so, there's different volumes and sometimes they change the problems from year to year. So that might be one where half of you had 72, half of you, yours says 75 max. Yeah. Okay, so I'll work it both ways because if you had a different problem in your book and uh, the online book said 72 and my book says 72, so that's weird. Okay, so 75 divided by nine, wasn't it divided by nine? Mine was 75. Divided by eight okay. equals, what did you get? Max? Nine remainder three. If, you're, if you worked this problem, you would have just gotten nine. So they probably made it a number that wasn't a whole number answer, just so you could practice telling what that remainder meant. Okay, labeling the parts. 72 or 75 represents the total what, Maya? Do you remember? What were you talking about in this problem? Kindle? People? The total campers, yeah, the total people go, that are going camping. And they have nine tenths. So what is that telling me, Jude? The number of groups or the number in, a, in the amount in each group? The number, of groups. the number of groups. So this is my total, obviously. This is the number of groups. So this is the amount in each group. 
So what does it mean? How many campers will be in each tent? Write a multiplication and division equation to support your answer. You only had to do the first part. How many will be in each tent? If we got nine, if you had 72 divided by eight, there's nine campers in each tent. What does this one, how would we write, and this one's a tricky one. Bryson? There would be uh, nine tents with eight and then one tent with three. Hold on, we got nine remainder three. Parker? So, so we had 72 people. We split them into eight different tents. And we, or sorry, 75 people, eight different tents. We got nine remainder three. We're splitting people, Maya. We don't have another tent. So this tells me, okay, this tells me that there are, there are nine people in each tent, but that would leave out how many? Three. Leave out three, comma, so what would we do with those three people? Kendall? Put them in the tent. Would we? Add them we would probably put one extra in how many tents? Three. three. So three tents would have one extra. And if I had to guess, 75 was the old version. 72 is probably the new version because that's a weird one to have leftovers. But if you don't have a ninth tenth, it says we only have eight tenths. Are we just going to leave those three people outside? No, we'd probably put the tiniest people together in a tent and just throw in an extra. Okay, just like on a bus. Can we fit three to a bus? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, can we fit three eighth graders to a seat? No, so what do they usually, who do they usually squeeze together? Two. The little kids, okay? Because it's not that it's impossible, it's just not always comfortable. Dominic? I also found kind of stuffing little, two little people in the tents was hard. I had to just wait till Wyatt and Caden got there for a summer camp. Yeah. And we were all very tightly packed. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. And again, that one was a weird one. But do you see why it's not 10? Why we don't say we need, we can't get another tent, so we just have to squeeze an extra person into three of them. Okay, on page 178, you had number 14 and 15. 178, number 14. Uh, Sadie, give me your number sentence. 130 divided by 10 equals 13. Okay, 130 divided by 10 equals 13. Okay, 30 was total. What was 10? Maya? Number of groups. Number of groups. So 13 was the amount in each group. Answer sentence, Bryce. Yes, each ticket will cost $13. Each ticket will cost $13. Number 15, Dane, number sentence. Okay, 100 was the total. What's the 20? Was it number of groups? Oh, this one was a hard one to kind of put those labels on. So how many meters did the team travel each second? So the fastest team in the Wilbur race was 100 meters in about 20 seconds. So that's fine. We can call this. We're, this is really the amount in each group because it's 20 seconds for one 
100 meters, right? Or 120 meters? For one second. No. The fastest team in the Wilbur race show. Answer sentence. Sophia, what was your answer sentence? Sorry, that's your number sentence, your, your word sentence. So the question says, on average, how many meters did the team travel each second? So the team traveled? The team traveled five meters each second. There you go. The team traveled five meters each second. OK, next one, which we're on the back now, right? Uh, number 16 on page 182. Let me get there. Finley, go ahead and give me your number sentence. 87 divided by 3 equals 29. Did it come out even? You got 29? Okay. Uh, 87 is the total. What's the 3? Number of groups. So the 29 is the amount in each group. Answer sentence, Bryson. So the question says, how much did Suki earn each day? So what do you think a good answer sentence would be? Suki earned $29 each day. OK, good job. $29 each day. Next one, number, is it 19? 17. Number 17. Brant, help me out with the number sentence. Oops, this was 16, wasn't it? Okay, total, what's the three? Were they splitting them into groups of three somethings? Or were they splitting them into three equal groups? Okay, so that would be the number of groups. Because they were splitting them into three buses. How many students on each bus would be? 60, so the amount in each group. Jude, give me an answer sentence. 60 people can, sorry, 60 people can in each group. 60. But let's be specific. What are we splitting them on in this problem instead of saying groups? This was buses. Can be 60 people on each bus. So that'll change both. Okay, two more. Page 206, number four and five. Let me get there. Um, number four. Nate, give me your number sentence. Your number sentence, yep. For number four. 13 remainder what? Nine. Okay. 80 is our total. What is the 7, Harper? Number of groups. Number of groups. Okay. I think this is off. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Haley, what did you get? I got 11. Yes. So, Nate, just check your math there. I think that's an 11 remainder 3. Yeah. Okay. Answer sentence. Brody? On number four. Uh, Abby, can you give me an answer sentence, please? There would be three. Um, I just put the thing left over, like what it was supposed to be. Okay, Kendall, give me the first part. She said there'll be three left over, but give her the first part. Each student gets 11 groups. 
Yes, each student gets 11 sheets. And there will be 11 or three left over. Okay, last one. Parker, give me your number sentence. Okay, so 9644 four divided by 4. 9644 four divided by 4. 2611. Is that what you said? Okay, 2411. So 9644 is the total. Is it for the number of groups? Okay, and 2411 is the amount in each group? Answer sentence. Reese, what'd you get? Five. Yes, the last one. The trip is 2,411 miles. Okay. The trip is 2,411 miles. Okay. Why do you think I'm forcing you to think about the total, the number of parts, and the amount in each part? Anybody know? Kendall? Yes, because if it's a whole division worksheet, it's obvious that they're division problems. Okay, but when we throw them together all on a piece of paper with addition, subtraction, and multiplication, you have to start being able to pick those things out. Because if it gives a total in the given information, that narrows it down to two. Which two does it narrow it down to if it gives us the total? Which kinds of word problems give us a total? One of them's right in front of you. Division. Division. What's the other one that gives us a total and doesn't ask for it? Subtraction. Subtraction. So in a word problem, that's the first thing I want you to look for. Is it giving me a total or is it asking for a total? Because that narrows it down to two. If it gives you a total, it's a division or a subtraction problem. If it's asking for a total, it has to be addition or multiplication. multiplication. And then we're learning how to pick out those other parts. If it gives us one and asks for multiple, it is a multiplication. If it asks for a total, okay? On these ones, if it gives us a total and um, gives us the number of groups, it's a division. Or if it gives us the amount in each group and asks for one group. Okay, open your books to page um 223 and you'll need a piece of loose leaf page 223 and you need a piece of loose leaf for today okay 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 so on page 223 read through number three what Yes, we always answer the question that's asked. Okay, and we're not going to solve using models. We're going to solve using math. Each picnic table at the park seats six people. How many tables will 83 people at a family reunion need? Who thinks they can give you my number sentence? And this one, again, you're going to work them on loose leaf. And then if you want, you can just bring your answer sentence over here. I'm just going to work them out here next to the side. So for number three, and this was a, you can put on loose leaf. If you want to title your paper, you can title it page 223, 224. Number sentence, Haley. 83 divided by 6 equals blank. 83 is our total people. What is the 6? Bryson? Uh-huh, so is it the number of groups or the amount in each group? The amount in each group. Yeah, it's telling me the amount in each group. Let's label that. You, I won't make you label total every time. Amount in each group. I'm just going to make you label the divisor today, okay? 
because the dividend is always the total. The divisor is what we figure out. And then the, how do we decide on the quotient? It's always just the, the other one. Yep. So it would be the number of groups. Now what do we need to do? Sadie? Divide. Yep, divide it out. Everybody on your loose leaf, divide it out. Was it 86? It was 83. As I say, your math looks good. I thought I copied the problem wrong. OK, so the answer to the number sentence is 13 remainder 5. What is my answer to the question? And remember, anytime we, we have a weird remainder, we have to say something about it in our answer sentence. Harper, what is my answer sentence? Because it says, how many tables will 83 people at a family reunion need? Can I say they will need 13 remainder five tables? How many will they need? Okay, they will need, that's a good start. Okay, so I am telling them my answer, but I want you to add to it. Why do I want you to add to it, Kendall? Uh, because did you get 14 as your answer? No. no, so you're kind of explaining why you changed 13 remainder 5 to 14. Go ahead, Kendall. Because if it has 13 tables, 5 people will be standing? Yes. So if, or you could say the last table would only have 5 people, okay? So if they only had 13... Five people, I'll just put, wouldn't have a seat. Well, I can't make it, there we go. Okay, so if you get something other, if your answer sentence doesn't match your number sentence, I want you to explain it. That's called interpreting the remainder. It's just you're explaining what that remainder means and why you're changing it in your answer. Number four says, Mrs. Malone has $75 to buy volleyballs for Lincoln Middle School. How many can she buy at $9 each? Number sentence, Dom. 75 divided by nine. 75 divided by nine equals blank. 75 is the total amount of money. $9. Is that the number in each group or the number of groups? Money, we have to think about it kind of funny. Lori? In each? Yeah, that's the amount of each group in each group, which means the cost of each basketball. So this is amount in each group. Okay, then let's do our math. Bryson, how many times does 9 go into 75? Uh, zero. Into 7 it goes 0. How many times does it go into 75? Oh. Nine. 9 times 9 is 81. Oh. Go down one. Eight, so that's 72. So the question says, how many can she buy? How many what? I said basketballs, but it's not basketballs. Maya, what is it? Volleyballs. Volleyballs. 
So can Miss Malone buy eight remainder three volleyballs? How many volleyballs can she buy, Finley? She can buy eight. So she can buy eight, not eight dollars. She can buy eight volleyballs, comma. Now, what does she have a remainder of three of, Bryson? $3? Yeah, because this, the label here, the 75 was $75. She's spending $72 on volleyballs, and she will have three left over. Would, would it make sense to say she has three volleyballs left over? No, okay, so she can buy eight volleyballs and will have $3 left over. Why can she not buy nine volleyballs? Because she doesn't have $9. Yeah, if she went up to the counter with nine volleyballs, we'll say there's no tax. They would say $81. If she gave them 75, what would they do? They'll be like, hey, yeah, you need to put you need to put one back. Okay, you don't have enough for it. I want you guys to try number five. Start to finish. Number five. Okay, who can give me the number sentence? My marker's not working, so. Number sentence, Lori? 63 divided by eight. Equals? 7 remainder plus 8. Do you guys agree with that? Okay, 63 divided by 8 equals 7 remainder 7. So now we look at the, que at the question. How many centerpieces can she make, Kendall? She can make seven centerpieces. Now I have to say something about my leftovers. Maya? She will have seven flowers left. Yes, so she can make seven full centerpieces and will have seven flowers left over. Makes sense? Okay, turn the page to page 225. Your homework is page 225, one through five. Okay, where do you think I want the work? On loose leaf. On loose leaf, okay? So 225 and 226, obviously, because they're not all on page 225. So it's the My Homework page, 225, 226, 1 through 5. Maya? You don't have to do models. Nope, no models. Just do it how we did in our notes. 
You're just doing the long division. I'm frozen. your notes go under notes and homework in your notebook. <laughs> 